welcome guys um, so today I was just think that God was just saying to me that I'll share the word of God with you and um, so I thought I'll just help you and uh, and share that whatever I learn and uh, so today we just our topic is that we talk about that how we can be strong in Christ and um, so it just really a uh, very important topic to talk about it that how we can be a strong in Christ today we talk about the basic uh, five things it's first of all we have to believe in Christ that's really important to believe on Christ because uh, if uh, no one like we don't see the God and uh, but we just trust on him we know that word of God is the it's from God and it's truth and every word is just written it's based on the truth and everything so we need to be believe on God that's the main thing as a good Christian we have to be uh, we have to believe on him on his word of God and uh, on everything whatever he just given to us and second is that that we have to pray I pray every day to Christ and uh, it will help you because this is it's just a connection between uh, human and to the God that we can pray and uh, we can we can talk whatever is in our heart and uh, whatever is our feeling you can you don't need to be uh, just pray for a long time and very loud and everything that everyone can hear that so you can just do a silent prayer because he already know before you ask him that what what you want to talk with him and he's our father we don't need to be shy or embarrassed to say anything we can share anything with God and uh, he knows us even when uh, we was in the even before we just come in this earth and everything we, even before we born he knows everything about us so he is a good father and he loves his children so prayer is the beautiful key between god and us that we can pray and we can be uh, we can just uh, get stronger and stronger and then he will bless you more and more and the third one is that the reading the word of god it's very important to reading the word of God daily and uh, if you just in a rush and everything and you rush to go to work and things like that and daily activities so what you can do you can listen the word of God you can put it on your phone and you can listen it because when you just listen it you just think about it and um, you just believe on it and uh, it's really important that uh, you just uh, you go through these things and you you open the word of God and then you just uh, read it you can listen it and uh, now it's a really good technology that you can put it on your phone put it on your laptop while you're just driving you can just listen and uh, then it will be really help you that what Bible says that how we need to be and uh, how we need to be go with God and because he is only the one way that we have to go through and we have to follow it and um, another is that is uh, encourage each another Bible also said that encourage each another rather discourage each another so just help uh, your friends your family your kids wife husband and uh, help each another to grow in Christ because uh, if when you talk about God if you have a knowledge it's very good and if uh, you need to be gained more and more and more you have to come to Christ and know it and uh, encourage your family to come to God rather like discourage you and like anything can become and discourage a family and then they just like they feel the lack of faith so better is that that you help them if you know it and you help them and to be um, just lift your family your friends up lift them up and uh, help them to know the word of God because uh, when you help each another many things that might be you knows it and your friend don't know 
many times some testimonies we share it and other people have really uh, encouraged their soul and their heart and their mind and their life get changed because of your encouragement and uh, sometimes people are sick and uh, when you just pray for them and encourage them that god gonna heal you and uh, these words are the key these words are very important that can help someone to be uh, to lift their spirit and everything up and it's really really good thing that if we encourage if husband knows a uh, word of god and he's very strong in christ we can help the wife and if wife is really good so just help the husband so share about with each another about word of god so that's really important and also that uh, the pray together even bible was said where two and three people are praying my presence is there so i believe it that when we pray together so it just really help it it just encouragement it just like we just work like as a chain and uh, when when we just pray so for one thing if anyone for example when i was in pakistan so we just pray as a team and uh, if anyone was sick or anything happens so god was just listen very quickly because when we are just uh, have a unity in a one thing and we all are strong believers and praying for that and then it's really helpful it just encourage our team members as well to be go more stronger in christ so it's really really important and uh we just always needs to be ready like give yourself to god and um because we are uh, as a as a christian what we have to do we have to forgive people and even i know it's very sometimes it's very difficult to forgive your enemies and forgive uh some people who really hurt you and discourage you and uh, sometimes people are very annoying and uh you just feel like oh, it, it's just like frustration and uh you forgive it in your prayer to them and then you just feel very calm you feel very relaxed you just feel like it's uh it's really just like work it for you just make your life really easier you just never be like in frustration and uh if anyone you don't need to go to that person and say that look i forgive you that's really important to do it it's good to do it but if you if you feel shy or embarrassment or anything like that to do it so that's fine you can pray you can say that person's name and forgive it and it will be good and uh because god knows our heart we don't need to be explain everything to him because he is a good god he already know before we asking it or anything we want and um when i was in pakistan i was just uh, encourage always encourage many people i was work with the with the sunday school kids with the orphans and god give me a lots of time to be um uh, to heal the sick people and i was just uh, very strong in christ and even in pakistan it was very difficult difficult to just go out and do things but i was brave enough to do it and uh, because i know who lives inside of me he's a bigger god and look at the uh, story of the david and goliath it's really beautiful story that uh, because goliath was real big and he was like a giant but uh, David was just a little simple boy. He don't know much. He don't know what to do. But who lives inside of him? He is the bigger, and uh, he just uh, he knows that my God is with with me because God just lives inside of us. We don't need to find him just here and there, and he is already inside. But what we need to do? We need to we need to search him from it. from our heart that where he is and if he, you when you search it when you know it then you know that how things going to work and uh you will lay hands on people they will be recover you will raise the dead because who lives inside of you he is a powerful he going to do it god sometimes he just wait for us that we take one step and he take four step towards us so at least just take a one step come to christ and uh, do it and just just know it just feel it that he is inside of you 
and don't just find him here and there that he's just like you know just in the churches and in a worship and everything is happened there and he's just there he is in your heart we need to search him we need to find out that what god wants us to do it what is his planning for us because um god is really good god that i i was just like when i was in pakistan i worked there like um more than 8 years and uh, my family and my team is still working in pakistan and i was uh, very honestly i never be think that i will just uh, god had a bigger bigger plan for me than ever i can thought and i'm going to be in a western country i'm going to be married with nick and uh, i'm going to just live in another country because i was living in very uh, a very small country and it's a muslim country i never ever be think that god had a real big plan for me and uh, because uh, before we ask it before we plan for our own self because our planning is totally different because we human we always think different and but god's planning is always best planning and it just come on a real good time and um uh, when i was just come here and i just uh, i just preach here for salvos and they give me a uh, many sundays the preaching that i just preach there and encourage people and i was just laying hand on people and just praying for them and they just recover so they was just really uh, shocked that just a pakistani just a simple girl can do a lots of thing and i said i'm i'm a simple but who lives inside of me he's a bigger god he can do anything and uh, so uh, never just think it that like never judge the people that they can do this thing or they can do that might be my english was very broken might be i was not confident enough to explain better or might be uh, my lifestyle different my way of understanding different or just um, i'm totally different and uh, but it's not meaning that if you different so god don't love you god love you because he give his life for you and um, whatever blessing is in your life you had a family you have a kids you have a married life and you have parents in your life you have a good brothers and sisters and this is a blessing and big blessing is that that he give you the life you are alive and uh, you can do whatever you want you can walk you can you can go out and you can do everything he lives inside of you wherever you go wherever you put your uh, steps he is just right there he is with you what we need to do we need to believe it that's the big key of that that we have to believe it that he lives inside of me what god can do i can do what he if he can just raise the dead i can raise the dead because he lives inside of me is a bigger so look at that uh look at that the uh, story uh, is really just to encourage me always i just talk about it and always just i think about it the lady who was just uh, touched the garment of jesus and she was afraid that uh it's like what master going to say to me if i'm going to do it just might be this thinking from my ears and ears that i'm going to do it i'm going to do it one day she was think uh maybe i'll do it today and then she just like she think oh i'm not strong enough to do it because that's real big thing it was a big crowd and jesus was uh preaching to people and then she was just try to like snake it and then she was come and she just touch it because look at the believe she don't believe that um uh, jesus will talk to me or put the hand on me or done something for me or show me the miracle and then it going to be happen because it was a problem of the blood it was just like a shameful thing and then she was just like she thought okay i gonna touch only just touch jesus and i believe that i gonna get healed and look at the believe there she don't just want that she just want to hold the hand of jesus or she just gonna just say something to him or he will speak back or something no she only had a belief that she gonna touch it and then she gonna get healed straight away she gonna get healed and then when the jesus was preaching and everything and then she just come and she just touched the jesus and look at that what jesus was said it straight away he said that i feel my power is just gone out so it just it's meaning that someone touch me and then 
something like Jesus feel it, that the blessing, that the power of the healing is just gone out from my body. And uh, because he is a master, he knows it. He don't need to just say that like, uh, but he said it because he was human. He just said it, who touched me? And this question was really amazed me that he's a master. He knows everything, who touched him and everything, but he still said it because he wanted to know it. And he just said it, who touched me? And then people was just looking that so many people, it's just so much crowd. So everyone is just like near you, might be someone touch it. And, uh, and then he said, no, the power was come out from my body. So that the power, Jesus knows that someone was touched me with the belief. And, uh, and then this lady was get healed straight away. As soon as she touched it, she got healed. So look at the belief of the people that that kind of the belief we need to be have it that kind of the thinking we need to have it it's not meaning like jesus will stand next to me and then it's going to be a big thing happen so think about it that jesus lives inside of me and that's my belief and the power is the also as well the the prayer that you just pray it will make your life really good you feel very relaxed you feel very calm and um, as a human, many things was ups and down come in our life. And uh, like recently, my dad was passed away and uh, it was, it's still really painful time for my family and for me to be, uh, we can never be think it like our life with our, our dad and it sudden happened and it was real big thing. But what we have a belief in Christ that he's in heaven with God because he was a man of God and he was just preach and raise and then just uh, help many people and lay hands on people and casting demons. And so we believe that because we believe that Jesus was live inside of him and whatever he do. And uh, it always just we can see that the word of God from his mouth and we just uh know that he is a warrior of prayer and he is very strong in christ so we know that as a christian that he is uh, in heaven with god as a human we feel like very broken we feel uh, that just just it's a difficult time to be uh straight away get healed it, it gonna take a time it will take a time to heal it but we believe that God is with us and uh, even till the end of the world he just said that I will be with you so that's what is his promise with us that and we believe that he is with us and um, so uh, the thing is that we need to be encourage each another we need to be uh, it just many time I just seen it the people was like discourage other people to be uh, to know about God and everything and they just said ah oh, the miracle is not happening for me or this thing is not happening for me or that thing is not happening for me so I don't know and uh, it's gonna happen or it's a real God or something like that so this is really really discouragement for other people who just want to be walk with Christ so when they just listen to these things it's very heartbreaking so just encourage people and uh, it will be it will be really awesome it will be very helpful for other people and um, so just uh, just look at that that uh, sometime God wants us to do these things and uh, to help people and sometimes it's just like very difficult situation very difficult time then you don't know what to do and when I was in Pakistan so uh we have an orphanage there and sometimes it's difficult time for us to be uh feed the kids and send them to school or help them for uh, uniforms and help them for things but me and my team was just pray and uh we put this uh thing in prayer and then god was just provided we even don't know how these things happened but it was happened because god's hand is on us and he never leave you alone. Just we need to be go to the Christ, go near him and he will come near to you and uh, it will help you. So I thought that um, I would like share this uh, just little message with you. It will really help it. And uh, 
I hope that you guys just get encouraged and uh, if ever you want to ask any question or anything so you can write it down so I, I would love to just help you and uh, may the Lord bless you and bless your families and uh, stay blessed. Amen.